Okay, hello. So for this presentation, I'm going to talk about George Creel. I'm doing my history assignment on him. And to start off, uh, Creel was born on December 1st, 1876. He was born in Lafayette County, Missouri. And his parents were Henry and Virginia Creel. And Creel also had two brothers. Um, so to start off with this timeline, um, in 1998, Creel joined the Kansas City World where he became a reporter, so he was a journalist for them. He reported for them daily, but he ended up getting fired because he didn't want to report. Um, he didn't want to report and write about an incident that happened with a prominent businessman and his daughter. So basically what happened was uh, the businessman's his daughter hooked up and had an affair with one of the other uh, workers there. and. Uh, Creel didn't want to report and write about it, so they ended up firing him. And a year later, um, Creel met a, after getting fired a year later, Creel met a friend, and his name was Arthur Grissom. They both published their own paper, which was called Independent, and it was solely uh, used to promote political reform and the rights of women in labor. Um, so overall, what it was for, it was uh, to talk about the problems and psychological uh, mishaps and uh, unfairness that women were dealing with because of the male, because of male workers and how they mistreated them. And um, so fast forward 10 years from there. So um, at this point, it's 19, um, not 1987. Uh, Creel landed himself a job with the Denver Post in Denver, Colorado. After working with the Denver Post, he worked with uh, Rocky Mountain News as an editor. And uh, Creel went above and beyond his power trying to make Denver a better place, but then angered many people, so eventually he was fired from the editing job because of what he was putting out. And um, in 1912, he married an actress named Blanche Bates. They had a son named George and a daughter named Frances. In 1917, Creel was asked to serve as a chairman on the Committee of Public Information, also known as CPI. And CPI was basically a temporarily uh, independent federal agency that tried to influence the American public's views about the war through the use of propaganda in magazines, movies, newspaper, radio broadcasts, posters, press release, and public speakers. So he really just tried uh, changing the public's view of war and using, just like any uh, um, PR would do, they would use any source of platform they had. So back at that time, it was just magazines, um, movies, newspaper, radio, but didn't have social media like we do now. And CPR only lasted roughly one year as it was disbanded after World War One. Um, in 1934, Creel failed as he tried running for governor of California. Even though he's, he failed, President Roosevelt still appointed him chairman of the WPA, known as the National Advisory Board for the Works Progress Administration. In 1939, Creel helped Mexico establish its own Ministry of Public Information and, and Propaganda. Unfortunately, in, in 1941, Cre Creel's wife died, so he then married another woman named Alice May Rossister. During retirement, he dedicated his time writing books. And on 1953, on October 2nd, Creel died in San Francisco, California.